it's good to have to know that the community is still behind us regardless of the outcome of our games but it's good to see like people in the stands and it makes a difference as you can see like with USC like they had their uh, pre-snap penalty so I think that makes a big difference with uh, the packed crowd. Yeah so more crowd better for you guys? Yeah yeah for sure. Um, Kenny, Kenny had mentioned yesterday that he hasn't been as pleased with the physicality effort standpoint offensively as he has with the defense. Uh, with you being one of the leaders on this team uh, on the offense, where you know how, what have you seen you're around the guys every day, you're on the field? Uh, what is your perspective on that? Yeah, I mean, we're just banged up. You know, I'm not trying to use it as an excuse, but mm -hmm. that's the reality of our situation, and that's something we got to work on. Um, we got to get the younger guys um, up to up to pace. Sure. So having them, you know, ready to go and um, for for Saturday is very important. Mm -hmm. um, also. Kenny has mentioned Utah is like an example of something to decipher in terms of how physical they are, um, uh, assignment sound, that sort of thing. Um, obviously, there's certain things beyond just the line that involve blocking for wide receivers, tight ends. How, how is the, where's the team at, I guess, in that, in that place of like physicality and, and after five games? You know, I think we're still trying to set the standard in terms of perimeter blocking and, mm -hmm. and the offensive line, but I think we're slowly getting better. Like. Like Coach Dilly said, like we're almost there. We're like very close. Mm -hmm. But at this point, you know, the O line, we don't want to be too close anymore. We don't want to break through. I think Coach Mark made a great point to you can't win, you gotta do it. So I think that's what we gotta focus on this uh, this week. Right. What's the sense did you do you feel like the O line showed some growth in that game at Cal on Saturday? Yeah, for sure. Especially with the dudes that we're playing with now, you know. Um, we have a true freshman starting at left tackle and well, their guards filling in. So I think that it takes tremendous strides and a testament to them, you know, paying attention in the meetings. And as young as they are, playing in a college football is hard. So I think it's a really good testament to them. It's like you guys as a unit got shell-shocked early with all the injuries, but now the last couple games, do you get the sense everybody's kind of settling into roles and you're functioning better as a group? Yeah, for sure. Especially with the injuries that we have, I think we're doing a really good job of you know, trying to set the standard and trying to get the pace of play at the at where it's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. But I think the offensive line is definitely making some strides. Yeah. What's the sense of playing Colorado, playing Deion Sanders, Coach Prime, all the hoopla that's gone around, that's surrounded their program this year? Yeah, I mean, honestly, it's just another game. You know, they're a really talented team, but I think we just got to treat it as any other game. It's just as important as the next one. Mm -hmm. So I think to just focus on us, do what we got to do this week, and I feel like we'll have a great game. With uh, off of that, with how much attention and hype that Colorado team brings, right? Different players and different coaches have dealt with that differently. Some have taken it as an opportunity to be like a motivating thing with, with landing at Oregon. Uh, others have have taken a different approach. What, uh, what as you among the leadership group, what is the approach that you guys are trying to take to sort of attack? You know, it's, it's just all about us. You know, uh, it could be Colorado, it could be Stanford, it could be Utah. It's, we treat it the same way. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I think they're, again, I think they're a really talented team, a uh, really good defense, but I think it's just about us, about how we execute our plays and our standards. And I'm guessing that's sort of, because that's what Kenny has said, is, is, is that something that he's emphasized to you guys? Yeah, for yeah. sure. We don't want to, you know, light their fire and stuff like that. We've got to really focus on us. You know, because at the end of the day, that's that's what it's about. Mm -hmm. Leaf, it looked like Coach Tuatele was back. Uh, how good is it for you and the guys to see him back on the field? Yeah, it's really great to see him back, especially uh, the conditions he was in before. But having him back is a really good uh, motivator to us. You know, he's a he's our position coach, so having him there is just really helpful to our uh, morale and our standards and stuff. What's your take on Colorado's defense, and what will be the keys to have success against them? Uh, just physicality, like Coach Dilly was saying, like. We have to emphasize the physicality and movement of the defensive line. Um, but I think that's just what we got to do is just execution. Physicality and execution, I think that's the two things that we got to work on this week. Uh, that, that particular unit has struggled at times, has given up a lot of points to, to certain teams, granted, some good teams in the Pac 12. But are there things that you've seen pop out on film that maybe are not easily recognizable that they do well? Or that, yeah, I think their front seven is a really good group. You know, they're really active and really twitchy. Uh, like Cal, they were stout and they were strong. But I think with Colorado, they're more twitchy, side to side type uh, players. But I think we have a really good opportunity and challenge out of us. What, what, what? How would you describe that if you were to further elaborate? Like, what opportunities do you feel like are, are at hand against this against this defense that front? Uh, just like their front seven, they're downhill fitters. Mm -hmm. So. We're definitely going to have to work on our double teams and our single blocks. So um, I think to just 
going back on the physicality standpoint. We have to come off the rock and move people against their will. How much are you looking forward to kind of this game? Obviously, this game's going to have a lot of hype with Dion coming in and whatnot. Do you guys look at it as just another opponent, or are you looking at it as a chance to really kind of – there's going to be eyes on this game. You can, If you play well in front of a lot of eyes, maybe it changes the narrative. Yeah, well, I guess uh, Colorado is a really great team, and they have a lot of fans watching their – uh, games every week, but um, like like I said earlier, and like Coach Dilly said, it's just about us. You know, treat it like any other week. It's just a matter of execution and and physicality at this at this point. You're like the lone guy still standing on that offensive line, really. Yeah. Um, what is it like to kind of have a patchwork group there and just kind of having to? It seems like you got new guys in there every quarter almost. Yeah, I mean, it's it's rough. It's a tough situation to be in, but at the same time, like the show must go on. You know. And I think that the young guys did a really great job in stepping in. I think Sean did a really great job filling in for um, tackling guard. So I don't think he had guard reps all week last week, and he did a pretty good job, I thought, from from what I saw. So, Leaf, um, you guys are obviously banged up, and that's a big, big thing that's been going on. But at the same time, there is guys, you know, Joey's still getting in there. You saw Ben in there today. Um, you know, what does it kind of mean that you to you that you guys are right there? You guys are right there from kind of being full strength somewhat. What does it mean to you that, you know, this might only have to go on for a couple more weeks before you guys really get a, a true, you know, understanding of where you guys were actually at or could have been at since day one? Yeah, like I said, we just it's a matter of execution. And, and the young guys do a really good job of, you know, filling in. But I think just getting healthy, that's our number one priority at offensive line. So then we kind of mentioned the physicality and the effort, how that needs to improve offensively. Just kind of talking to Coleman and Badger, they're talking about specifically things they need to do. So just kind of as an offense as a whole, what were some things that maybe stood, stood out on the film when you guys reviewed it about some of those effort and physical plays? Execution. I think that's the number one thing. Um, effort and execution. Uh, because they're, like, reviewing the plays from Cal, that we're just one play away, one block away. And um, I think just a matter of execution, doing your job, regardless of if you're – uh, in phase with the play or out of phase with the play, uh, your block matters. So, when it's just like, one, like a play, one play, right? You said, and it's yeah. a really close scoring game. Is that kind of bring up maybe some frustrations, or what are some of the emotions that brings up as a team, knowing that you guys are really only possibly one play away from you know winning that game? Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of emotions going around, but I think it just goes to show how close we really are. Like we were really one play away or two plays away, but I think it just shows like how mature we can be. You know, I think. The leaders of this group, uh, of this team, really did a really great job of rallying the dudes and trying to help them buy into this uh, the team that we really could be.